Aries, welcome to your timeless zodiac sign reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart. Remember that these are general, not every Aries will be going through this before us today. So take what resonates, leave the rest please. And what doesn't seem relevant for you can be relevant for someone else here. Please keep that in mind. Energies could be vice versa as we also have people that watch for Aries and other placements in their birth chart. And we also have cross watchers. So please keep that in mind. Um, this could be a he-he situation, a she-she situation, or a he-she situation. Alright. This could be friend, family, foe, lover, ex, or, or future. Um, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful comments. All of your donations, I really do appreciate them. Thank you so much. And if this resonates for you, please give it a like, that thumbs up, and share if you will. Alright. So Aries, what I was getting is that there is someone, there's someone interested in you, but, and they, they think about this, um, like a lot, but you, you might make them a little bit nervous, a little anxious. They're a little anxious about it. They don't know if they have the strength and confidence to tell you how they feel or to pursue you. Um, this is someone that has a little bit of problem or trouble with vulnerability okay uh, they may be you know someone that has just recently went through something or they're closing something out or they're just really marinating on the shit storm they just went through um, and maybe it's maybe it's a little too premature to come towards you I'm not sure so let, let's see what's happening here yeah, we have angel and marriage with the sun so it would be a great outcome okay heart of the matter here dragonfly have confidence during this time of great joy renewal and connection to spirit so I feel like somebody is maybe perhaps on a healing journey right now and they're working on their confidence okay now that everything you know like the storm the clouds parted and the sunshine is 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 here a new day approaches right or a new day is here um, somebody may be connecting to their spirit guides now okay this could be you this is the heart of the matter whether it's them or you or both of you okay so I feel like you're radiating and you're in in a place of confidence and um, because you feel your life is maybe full um, or somewhat full right now bottom of the deck yeah lovers there are two paths ahead be true to yourself so that definitely could be something that pops up two paths when it comes to the lovers now you know as far as I'm concerned when you see the lovers they're not always two good paths sometimes one is a lesson and the other one is like what you're destined the, the what you're destined to have in your life it just depends on your state of mind and state of being so you know that helps you see that clearer so maybe one of you is a little more clear than the other one is at this time so let's see so two paths and loves could be for them or for you all right peace and vulnerable look <laughs> vulnerable came out embrace openness and authenticity find strength in sharing your true self with others for growth yeah so this person needs to learn how to be more vulnerable so that they can continue growth and they can be more authentic to who they are and kind of show who they really are to people so that people like them for who they are not just what they you know present to the world peace love compassion and understanding all right some of you I feel like that's what you bring to the table or someone's understanding that that's gonna bring a lot more peace compassion and love the right kind of people as well yeah taking the lead leader one more shuffle with wise wise leader okay becoming that wise leader within their own life and not a follower And Aries, you're known for leadership, so I feel like that's somebody in connection to you. 
Okay, dreams. We have this card symbolizes dreams and the journey towards a higher spiritual plane, elevating us to new levels of awareness. Now, some of you could be starting your spiritual journeys, right? And ascending here. And there's always like one person more ascended than the other. So take that how it resonates. Place yourself where you feel you are. And sharing. Sharing driven by sharing driven by genuine love and care for another person. Okay? So genuine love and care for another person. And sharing that together. Influence. Spreading positivity and leading others towards meaningful change with empathy and insight. So what I'm seeing here is whoever this lover is for you, this could be somebody you know um, or somebody watching you somehow. Whatever energy you're embodying at this time, it's influencing another to be their more true authentic self. Yeah, we have blindness. Your, your tendency to overlook the obvious when you avoid confronting unsettling truths. Okay, so this person could be afraid to, you know, to face the reality of the situation. They rather maybe, or they have for a while, have worn blindfolds here. Or they kind of maybe play the victim or make excuses, um, even though the truth is staring at them in the face, right? Bottom of the deck, faith. Faith in God, loving and trusting Him while acknowledging doubts. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, there's there's a little bit of a struggle with someone. Um, but there's still faith that the Most High will, will guide, guide you and, and guide you into the right path. Okay. Somebody may be the kind of person that they need to know step by step what's going to happen. And that's just how, you know, life isn't like that. It's a journey. Things come at you from, you know different different sides and you have to learn how to roll with it and act accordingly okay so somebody here is like they're a little fearful of what can happen um but it's leading them in the right direction so <coughs> all right let's see what's going on here Uh, there's something about a child and you maybe being unfazed about a child. We do have a child here. So there could be a situation where a child is involved. And maybe this person has to tell you this or hasn't told you this. If this is somebody you know. We have consultant. Weird. It came in in the same position with the um, Pisces reading. So dreams, this card symbolizes dreams and the journey towards a higher spiritual plane, elevating us to level to new levels of awareness, okay? Somebody may be seeing a mentor here, a consultant, when it comes to ascension, or, you know, trying to figure out their dreams also. Plot. With sharing. Driven by genius, love, and care for another person. Hmm. Driven by genuine love and care for another person. And there's a plot here. We'll have to see what that's about. Information and receipts with influence. Okay, spreading positivity and leading others towards meaningful change with empathy and insight. Okay. So I feel like people come to you or people are getting information that, you know, what you're doing is genuine or what you say is genuine, what you write is genuine. Some of you could be um, writers. Some of you write books or blogs or blogs. You're an influence. Okay. Mediumship with blindness. So... Even though somebody got readings here to see what, why they feel drawn to you, they still put on blinders, okay? Their tendency to overlook the obvious when you avoid confronting unsettling truths. 
with blindness. So someone does get readings on you. But they want to avoid the truth. Um, some of you could be readers and maybe this and you are an influence and maybe this person doesn't want to accept that the connection they have with you because remember this is someone that it has a hard time being authentic. So this is somebody that wears a facade. So they may be afraid of what other people think or say. Okay, that's for some of you. Others of you, this person got readings on you and the reader was telling them that there is a divine connection here, or some sort of spiritual connection to this person and they still don't want to see it. And I still feel like it has to do with some sort of opposition between the two of you. Maybe differences in beliefs, uh, different, different ways of going about life. Um, I feel like this person could be very traditional. Maybe they have a lot of self-limiting beliefs, okay? Especially when they're in that energy of anxiety and not being confident or being able to be vulnerable. So it's giving me somebody that's living a very oppressed life. Like they've had to wear this facade and they got comfortable in this whole persona they made for themselves. And being being called to be authentic scares them because they've been this person for so long they don't know if someone is going to like them for their authentic self but you see how silly that sounds right if nobody likes you for your true authentic self man then those aren't your people okay so bottom of the deck yeah there's a plot here to steal of course these people in their plots there may be somebody with a child here maybe that was their way of Staying connected to somebody's money. Yeah, harm and destruction. During the spring, waiting on some sort of health thing, health paper, signature, and meeting up. Judgment with change and visitation with friends. Admiration, unfazed, move the world. Some of you have moved far away or something because I feel like people admire you there may be some friends that want to visit you but there was some change here yeah people from the past oh you have people from the past that have changed um and I feel like they've been watching you and you're unfazed about this because maybe you moved away you closed out some chapters with some people so I feel like you helped some people heal. They're on their judgment. Maybe these people at some point, but there are some people here that want to steal from you. Or did during the spring or wanted to, okay, with, with um, harm and destruction. Now be careful because there may be some people that want to come back around that say that, you helped them change and they did so be careful with that let's see what this is about so you got a few people yeah confirmation you have a few people in your energy we're gonna see what this plot is about as well yeah Nine of Wands with the Knight of Wands. With the Moon. And with this plot card. Hmm. Somebody may be sneaking away. Let me see. What's going on here? Um, I'm also seeing whoever somebody went to with consultant, mediumship, information, receipts, and plot. They could have been lied to. Knight of Cups. Three of Cups. Somebody may be celebrating too early. Page of Cups. Nine of 
Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. This is also victim mentality. With blindness, tendency to overlook the obvious when you avoid confronting the truth and someone playing the victim. So, somebody got advice here that they needed to be more authentic. That they needed to see things for what they are and maybe self-reflect. And I feel like this person... Maybe for some time, they just continued playing the victim. They didn't want to listen. They didn't want to see it. But I do feel like someone is actually seeing a mentor now. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups with the Knight of Cups is somebody that always invests in the wrong connections. Okay? They get... They're, they're in love with the idea of love. Okay? They get caught up in fantasy and, um, you know, romantic gestures. Somebody here could be very romantic. So they definitely, they need to take that journey to a higher spiritual plane, elevating to new levels of awareness and not being so... Um, Like, I just feel like this person always sees, like, they click with somebody all the time. Like, they always see something that's like, oh, you know, I feel a connection with you. And it always ends up being like, wah, wah, wah. It's not what they think it is. But they can't get themselves in trouble all the time because I feel like they're really romantic. Very sensitive person. But not being true and authentic is costing them. Emotionally and possibly financially. Two of Pentacles. So there's a, another person that someone is plotting with here. Okay. And they're acting like they're driven by genuine love and care for another person. So somebody is nurturing someone that they know that this person is sensitive and romantic so they know what buttons to push but this person is actually plotting with other people against this person okay or this could be you take it how it resonates somebody could be plotting on you if you feel like you are this you know overly romantic person that needs healing and and um you know you get caught up in the wrong connections because of it Okay, Queen of Pentacles, information and receipts with the Page of Cups and influence. So some of you definitely make money with um, things you like. You have a, a, you're a visionary, okay, is what I'm seeing. You envision what you want <coughs> and you make it a reality. And somebody may be looking into you is what I'm seeing. If you're truly genuine, if what you do is truly genuine, is also what I'm getting. Somebody may want to apologize for misjudging you. The fool. Yeah, somebody needs to free themselves from this um, victim mentality. That's at a distance. Okay, so a new day could come in so their ships could come in yeah these heavy burdens they need to set it aside and go through that transformation that rebirth leave their their burdens at the door clear out these karmas you know it takes time slowly approaching the lovers knight of wands with the king of pentacles this person has definitely had a lot of lovers. I can see it here. They're very romantic. And it's because of past traumas. So they are closing out that kind of cycle. Okay. This person is going through a transformation. Alright. They may be moving. They might have moved somewhere. But this cycle that they've been in is coming to a close. Or it has for them. Okay, so they're at a distance, and th so the new beginning could come. Now, they're anxious because there is a Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands energy here. 
So I don't know if this person betrayed you. When they misjudged you. Because they were with somebody that was acting like they loved them genuinely when they didn't. They were plotting. So somebody might have made you look some type of way. Yeah, the, their wheels are spinning. Yeah. Two of swords with justice and the devil with the sun. Somebody, yeah, somebody sees the light. Okay, I feel like somebody had to defeat their own demons to be able to see something from what for what it is and I also see that this person may know that you see the reality of who they are and what they did or, or what energy they were in okay there's gonna be some sort of communication we have cancer and Leo energy with Capricorn and Libra and Virgo yeah the her the hermit with the um, king of swords is somebody very very wise and walking away from the bullshit and working on themselves so they can manifest better okay they may want to manifest you Aries Queen of Wands six of swords because you're listening to your intuition and your heart and moving forward here and they're watching you in fear <laughs> holding back oh boy okay let's clarify this what is the seven of cups yeah they feel like they found the one okay and that's you two of cups and I feel like you know the knight of cups always goes on a journey they're highly romantic they always want that soul connection okay um, but often get confused and their feelings take over and if they're in a low vibration with that knight of wands energy you know they go they fall head first and and you know they take chemistry as love 22 22 on the clock but now they're they're seeing things um better so what is this plot yeah in the past yeah that so that's why they're nervous they plotted against you with someone else clarify that yeah with the queen of wands in reverse is what I feel here or this is just saying they plotted against you this person had a love of money is what I'm getting yeah they were greedy with the four of swords I mean four of pentacles And I feel like you walked away, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, and they're nervous. We have the King and Queen of Cups here. Clarify. Yeah, Five of Cups. They're full of regrets. They plotted against you. But they had misjudged you. They had to get information on you to see who was right. Five of Swords. Yep. They worked with others, okay, to do something, and they learned a lesson. So they could be a spiritual jail, or they went to jail for something they did. Okay, they might have went to jail for something they did. I'm also seeing if they dealt with like a Jezebel, uh, that person could be going to jail for some sort of plot. clarify that the magician with the three of swords and the sun peeked through you may already know this the sly of hand is um, out in the open so you know their tricks are not hidden anymore or whoever that or whoever they were dealing with Ace of Wands with Justice. Yeah, Knight of Cups with the Lovers. This person could have been with um, 
a Libra, a Pisces, or a Gemini. And you were in Hermit mode, the Divine Feminine, with the Two of Swords and the Hermit, with the world somewhere else, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Well, they were plotting against you in the shadows. Three of Cups with the Moon. Page of Cups. Wow. The Death card with the Devil. Oh, man. This person could have did, like, death magic on you, too. Yeah, this person really was misguided, misleaded by a Jezebel spirit. They may have a child from that person. Oh, boy. Tell me about um, this energy here. Queen of Pentacles with influence. Yeah, they, they may feel they missed an opportunity with you. And I've... Yeah. They try to steal from you. In the past. So they try to steal from you. Maybe energetically they were sexually manifesting off your... Is this a twin? This could be a twin that fell from grace. Um, yeah, they could have stole your ideas or they stole something. Your inheritance, yeah. And if whatever happened, it backfired. They wanted to see if you, if you were destroyed because they were watching. If things were falling apart for you. Yeah. The Hierophant with the Emperor, yeah. This, this person was in a whole relationship with someone clarify yeah you're the high priestess here influence spreading positivity leading others towards meaningful change with empathy and insight like i don't know how they misjudged that but all right queen of swords speaking your truth Yeah, no hairs on your tongue. You weren't holding back what you had to say. I'm telling you, some of you are readers, or you divinate somehow. You definitely tapped in, or you know, you write things. Yeah, the death card. Damn, with the ten of swords and temperance. Somebody wanted you to check out of this life. If they dealt with a Libra, well, who is this? Yeah, Libra. <laughs> Justice. There's a Libra here. Scorpio, Libra energy that worked with others to make you look bad. Um, so things may be backfiring. And what, what does this Libra want to apologize to you now? Six of Pentacles. With the star. He could be a chosen, a star seed, a light worker. The Emperor. Now they want to give to you now. Page of Pentacles with judgment. Yeah, they want to talk to you. That does, that's somebody's twin, I feel, that had a fall from grace. We saw the Emperor and the Empress. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Maybe this person thought you were trying to steal their money, but whoever stole their money is this Libra energy. Damn. What else is going on here? Yeah, opposition over money. Moving on. Some of you just, you know, you're you're moved on. You're on your north node, doing your thing. You you know, everything kind of came to light, you, or you got clarity through a reading. Yeah, maybe you traveled away, or you you're about to travel. One more shuffle here.
divinity. Mm -hmm. You're tapped into your divinity. Manipulation. Hello. So, man, transition. What is this? Health concern. Wow. Seeing past the veil. Abandonment. Concern again. Abundance. Person's concern about money. Bondage with death magic. Oh boy. A divine masculine that is not so divine. Health concern. I'm getting that somebody did death magic to this person. So this Libra tried to take this, this emperor out because maybe they got found out for money. Because they have health concerns. And because this person started seeing past the veil, they started seeing this person for who they were. And they started having health concerns. This person, this karma could have been poisoning them. And they abandoned that person. So because they abandoned that person, this, this karmic started being concerned. And did death magic towards this person. There's manipulation here. Nice guy. Yeah, this is a nice guy. Divine masculine with nice guy. So this karmic is doing death magic to try to steal this money. A Libra. So it looks to me like they got with a, a witch. So Queen of Wands in reverse with the High Priestess reverse. So they could um, get readings done and they were getting information on you. Wow. Yeah, throwing false narratives. Fake news, gossip. On their ascension. Spirit of lust, because they were in a spirit of lust, but they see that you are the one. Earth angel, spreading false narratives about you, that you're lusty, oh boy, actual money. So they're trying to spread the narrative, um, yeah, opposition, that you want their money for <laughs> everything this karmic did to this person they're trying to gossip about you that you're trying to do to them what they clearly just did to them oh boy this person knows you're the one okay they were confused they were under an illusion but i see that perhaps some of you walked away with the eight of cups and the queen of cups i mean this person really uh assumed a lot due to this um, karmic real love they were under some heavy manipulation starseed okay so you're both starseeds so this this achievement with love spell oh boy child wow <laughs> there's definitely a child involved with a boss someone held in high honor that works hard so this is a good person they were just I don't know I don't know what happened distant future something with false documents unbothered and court with an ice king this could be a lawyer no access rich guy Emotional pain. Yeah, that's this person. House and rich girl. With jealousy and envy. Okay. Yeah, this dark priestess or this whole coven with community. Yeah, somebody they were married to. That are not aligned. Yeah, third party sitch. A situation ship. Yeah, a rising star through rituals and manipulation. 
destruction entity attachment yeah obsession yeah this person's crazy surprise ice queen yeah wow somebody dealt with a real biatch <laughs> damn spreading false narratives uh, making you look like everything that she indeed is because we can't say was she still is who she is but she really had this person going um, clarify this. What is this? Hello? It could be somebody from the other side here. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. Was under manipulation. Yeah, this is a twin. And they know it. And they did betray you. They know the truth, though, now. They didn't know the truth before. They thought you were karmic. Yeah, the Hierophant could be a Taurus. It could be a Taurus Aries Cusper here. Three of Wands. Going within. Or Virgo. Yeah, the world. Closing out that chapter, they're single. Or they could be um, playing the field with the uh, Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. And Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Swords, with the Chariot. Yeah, this person definitely um, blocked this Gold Digger, I feel. Yeah. Let's get a question here. I don't want to make these too long. So this person owes you an apology. That's why they're so nervous. Because they know you know or something like that. They know you know. But this Libra is doing uh, death magic on this Emperor. And I feel like they both did at some point in the past when they felt like you were the the bad guy because this this person pretended to love this person uh, they pretended to be compassionate and caring and it was all fake that's a narcissist vibe we're following Damn. What skills should I develop or leverage to move forward in my career or mission? Two paths. What happens if I take this action and what effect will it have on my life? So there is a crossroads here with the lovers and I feel it's on their end, okay? And of course that was with the Jezebel or you. I mean if this person is still asking themselves that question. <laughs> I don't know. So let's see. What skills should I develop or leverage to move forward in my career or mission? This person may be trying to get into their, their north node now. Or figuring out what that is. Yeah, you're, you're a star seed. You're the epitome of divine feminine. You are a healing energy. Um, you know, a light worker. You know, enlightened, definitely. You are the real deal. All right, tell me about these skills. What skills can they develop or leverage to move forward in a career? This could be for you. Strength, confidence in what you do. Okay, going after it with vigor. And making the right choices. Okay. Making the right choice. Knight of Cups, doing what you love, yeah, in order to attain wish fulfillment. Anything else there? Yep, 
Ace, yeah. And um, Ace, of, Ace of Swords, King of Cups with the Death card. Cutting out what doesn't serve you. Being true and authentic to what you feel. Following your intuition. And changing accordingly. Allowing change or transformation to take place when needed. So that we do have the more, more confidence to go after what we desire in career. Doing what we love. Okay? And being open to change. Alright, and maybe doing some research. Okay, so two paths. What happens if I take this action and what effect will it have on my life? So path A. Let's see what that path looks like. Okay, temperance. That's giving me the middle road. Okay, the path of faith, balance, equilibrium. What else there? Yeah, clearing out karma. Okay. Going through, sometimes we have to go through that spiritual warfare. Through the battles, the inner conflict. Okay, clearing out any conflicts in our lives. What else there? Yeah, the Empress. To get to the Empress. Yeah. Doing shadow work. Going within. With the devil. Facing our fears and our shadows and clearing our karma. And um, so also outside of the connection to you is healing that divine feminine within them. Okay, that they have ignored for so long. Yeah, the emperor. Exactly. Getting in balance with their divine feminine, divine masculine. Self-reflecting. Exactly. That's the crossroads. So that's one path to a wands. And what about this other path? The other path is full of anxiety, sleepless nights, worries, confusion, illusions, smoke and mirrors. Um, stagnation, roadblocks, hesitations because of doubts and fears, repeating the same thing over, ego, um, that's what I'm getting there, the false self, immaturity, unable to grow, ignoring the truth, just getting like, you know, recognition for the wrong things, being stuck and conflicted, having self-limiting beliefs that lead to conflict, inner conflict as well. Four swords. Okay. Clarify that. Seven of Pentacles. Planting seeds that only lead like to the same thing. The fool. Yeah, the fool, <laughs> the shadow. Taking a path of materialism once again because we're too focused on material gains and being this look, looked at as this emperor, this, this financial um, stability, but still being connected to your shadow because that's the path, right? Material gains, self limiting beliefs, ego, um, afraid to take um, other actions in, in love or healing and self love, self worth. So you got two paths. You could either master yourself and go through your shadow and take the middle road. Or you can continue to repeat the same cycles that only lead to the same types of connections and uh, small victories or victories that can fall apart. 
So this person does does focus on finances quite a bit. Now this could be you. Take it how it resonates if you're the emperor in this energy. Okay, but definitely there is someone here, a feminine that is in the right energy. That somebody um, completely misjudged and betrayed with a karmic. Plotted against them. Possibly because of material gain. Okay. Um, but this is a nice person. It's just they were manipulated heavy. You know, immature character. They, they looked at money rather than character. They wanted to be on top of their game or looked at a certain way. They were ego tripping. So this person has health concerns. Why is hello here? Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. <laughs> this could be hello from the other side. It could be an angel here. Uh, talking about this, this was a manipulation. Who is this hello? Judgment, five of wands, six of wands. Conflicted, ego, knight of pentacles, stubborn. Stick in the mud energy, queen of pentacles. Temperance. What's this transition? Somebody may, yeah, somebody's trying to manipulate you. We have a King of Swords here. What is this? Five of Cups, King of Pentacles. So this person feels like this is over. They regret again what they did with someone else here. It's like they want to talk to you, they want to say hi, but they feel like this is over. Yeah, Hangman, Knight of Cups. There may be like people that they worked with. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. That impedes them from this wish fulfillment. This person is easily manipulated by others. I have to say that. Very easily manipulated by others. Um, because they're too they're too stuck on fitting in. So you walked away, okay? Is what I'm getting. To be this leader of this hierophant, okay? And there may be some new opportunities coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Because I feel like this person took too long to come towards this wish fulfillment. That is now perhaps blocked, okay? Because maybe now you're going to be meeting someone else. Yeah. King of Wands, Ten of Cups with the Sun. Okay? With the world being here. And the hermit. You guys have been in hermit mode for some time. Um, you know, doing you. And there's somebody else looking at you. Okay? Yeah. The empress with the two of swords, two of pentacles. There's definitely a king of wands looking at you. Okay? You already know about this betrayal from this lover. Yeah. Uh, be careful though. Be careful of people that come in, because I feel like there's a like a whole community 
that surrounds this masculine okay and there may be some people coming in like they're um, connected to the most high in their divinity but they're manipulating okay be careful with that because i'm seeing that because you walked away like they, they remember these people are still thinking about money they still want to ma manifest money somehow some way and they may see you on in your empress energy queen of pentacles vibe and feel like now that they suck this person dry you have money so just be careful all right guys that's what i have let me know in the comments if anybody resonates i wish you the best peace